comfortable taking into the late game. First time we've seen Weha on puck this tournament. And it's actually pretty favored in the matchup against Lena, or at least one of the heroes that's not TA or Wind Ranger uh -huh. that can do quite well in this scenario. I'm uh, interested to see like how that, how they then put the lanes together from from VG Gaming side. So, like if you feel like Weha is going to be good, you know he's going to be in the mid lane. Does the Lena match up? Okay, that's going to be great. But how long do you keep these matchups? What's the what's the effect you have you're looking for from the Warlock as well as the Rubik? We're seeing so many tri lanes. Is kind of where I'm moving with this eventual point that I will gain. Like. How does VG now try and change the pressure up? Do they go back into tri lane? Do I they think, let the Doom have so. a free lane against Centaur, knowing how well that may not work? Uh, I, we, I, I we've seen it from trade. Liquid before. Like, do, like Doom just maxes up Devour. He's like, it's I'm true. always going to be good. It's true, and I think that that's what you'd probably look to do as VG. You want your Doom to be able to scale. The Paparazzi Troll matches up a lot better against Arc Warden than, say, the Ramses Terrorblade did. Mm -hmm. uh, you have that ability to dive forwards. Arc Warden doesn't really like buying MKB, so you get on top of him with the Whirling Axes and severely negate his damage output. It's going to be about the long fights for Liquid. I really like Phoenix as a matchup against Warlock. It's similar to an Undying, where you provide this anti-area control team fight, and it's also a way to remove the Fatal Bonds off of the Phoenix when he pops the egg. Uh, you're going to look to target Ori as Team Liquid because he's not just the big egg killer, he, he's also the squishiest hero uh, as far as cores are concerned. Yeah, does that actually like feel good with Ori? Like over on that Lena pickup, like, we were discussing a couple of different options that they could have run in towards the mid too. Uh, and that was not one of them. <laughs> and it's not like we has to go and block a lane or fight with anybody else. You get the entire crowd to clap along with his drum. Yeah, priorities. Yeah, come on, come on. Block up. Lock up the lane. Had that nice battle against... It, it, it feels classic. Mm. It feels classic. I almost hope our observer just watches this. But uh, VG Gaming are bringing their three to the top. It will be Miracle and GH to repel them. And uh, with double spark race, triple spark race, <laughs> it's like an undead rave party right there, and Miracle will take the rune. But that means there's three. As there was no contest for the bottom, the Doom was nowhere near it. Yeah, they don't want to give away their lanes on Vici. It's very important they get the tri-lane versus tri-lane scenario. You don't want to be in a uh, position where Miracle's free farming on Arc Warden as a no-go. Well, they're going to get the tri-lane, tri-lane. Kuro's making yep. his way up there now. And they already see the reveal on bottom, so it is most definitely a Doom versus Centaur. That's the snooze first right there. It's going to be farm, yep. farm, 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 farm. But as you said, especially if Yang goes for the Max Devour build, it, it certainly favors the Doom. They'll just be able to... Passively out farm. Oh, Fatal Pons for us. <laughs> yep. Oh Walk up to God. the lane with the Fae Fold as well. Like, this is just some easy bounce around damage. And you're 48 seconds into the game on the first wave, and GH is already in south territory. Yep. This is a very difficult lane for Liquid. How does GH even play that? Like, you, you want to consume your life, and there's like, well, I have no life. Nice face shift from Puck. We get to watch that for a split moment. And that's where, like, Puck is the most elusive of all. And why you start to question a little bit. The uh, the pickup of the Lena. It's just a nice. It, it fills the gaps in the Vici lineup. They wanted a bit more burst. They had a. They want some follow up. They want someone to kill the egg. Mm -hmm. And it allows you to burst down Miracle's Arc Warden. More importantly, I wouldn't be surprised to see Ori go for the more spellcaster Lena style. You know, the Aether Lens, Yules, maybe an Ags. Okay. Just burst down Miracle as fast as possible, even through is, BKB. Is that sustainable though? Once the clones start getting bigger. It is just because you know we've seen we've seen Miracle build a couple times. Midas, Bots, Maelstrom, Shadowblade. It's not as if he's itemizing for tank ability. And Arcord really never. He's just not that kind of hero. E and they're sheep. really trying to hit into Paparazzi. It's like, well, okay, four set the Fatal Bonds. Miracle is the only hero caught by that, which is probably the best case scenario for Team Liquid on this top lane. If you can get a Fatal Bonds out where your supports aren't getting ripped apart in life, so annoying to play against. And Puck is not a healthy boy either. Back to the tier two tower to salve up. And it's Lena really yep. getting up in the face of Weha. 11 2 versus the 7 3. It's, it's one of the best heroes for a Phoenix to gank mid for, though. That's what makes this combination so nice is that you, at a point, Weha is going to get six, and it's way easier for him to kill Ori than vice versa. Very skill based matchup, though. I definitely um, lost to the Puck when I was playing against Dandy back at TI5. But that was a that was a long time ago. 
I, I, I also don't know if I'm a good barometer. For, yeah, yeah, yeah. For I, 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 made, I made a promise not to beat the shit out of you because everyone else is doing it. And, I, and I'm like, you, you don't need to get it from all sides, man. <laughs> it's right, it's cool, this, that's this, why I'm here. This is the, uh, the least kill effective tri lanes we've seen so far from these two teams. It's, it's just a, it's harassed into fear almost with these lineups. And then the middle lane is the one which could pop off, pop off at any moment. Now Icarus dive forward, GH is going in for the body block over on DY with the stroke. They have enough, but no, they get throw them away. Fades there just in time. Even with the spirit on DY, he should be able to tank through that and then south back up. And now we reset once again. There's that fear of all the consumables being burnt and what else he got left in the tank. Yeah. Such a tough lane for both sides. You can't make a misstep or you certainly go down. Well played by Fade. He's using the lift defensively to ensure the ink swell doesn't pop off. Kuro just walks a point blank range with DY and Fade. Yeah. Miracle's getting a little sick of getting hit by these Fade balls, but as long as you got a salve as well as stick charges, it's very difficult to threaten the Arc Warden. But they're trying to stay on top of Paparazzi, trying to keep that CS down, but it's, it, yeah, yep. it's, it's a nightmare. It's a nightmare. Notably, uh, bottom lane, the Doom did not go for the Max Devourer style. He did not. So he's going to be able to threaten more kills, harass the Centaur more offensively, because he's actually already put Mango, two points in the consumption Infernal. in with the Spark Rays to get a pick up, throwing away G8. Nice. That uh, didn't hit the stun then on the Inks, well, oh. meaning the Paparazzi feels confident to beat in towards Miracle, but DY, he's still ticking down. Miracle can stand his ground, and DY will be DY. the first blood. Miracle will claim it. GH. Not a lot of life left, but with the Spark Wraith, Fade's forced to go around the corner. GH just trying to keep his distance from Paparazzi. Kuro's hoping for some kind of stroke throw back to grab the retreating Rubik, but it won't happen. Rubik's doing the walk of shame home. Yeah, the first step is DY. He goes offensive and tries to kill Miracle with the aggro Shadow Word. I think if he heals himself and just walks away, he'll be fine. Good awareness for Miracle to just keep the right clicking going. Man, this is the benefit, again, the, the liquid safe lane tri lane. Vici coming aggressive, always easier to recover when you are safe lane, and this is why, as GH looks to pull the easy camp. Easy creep denies, a bit of extra gold. Vici will collect three out of the four bounty rune spawns, however. You can see Yang's build, one, two, two. So yep. way more damage and offensive capability, but he won't scale quite as hard as the mind control Doom did in this matchup previously. In fact, was it was it between these two teams or was it I, when they were playing Liquid? I think, or, it was uh, a, I think it was the winner's bracket final, um, but I, I might be wrong. It's been a lot of Dota. Yeah. But even with one point, de like, like Devour, he's still yeah. getting ahead of mind control. And that mid lane, Weeha versus Lena. This is getting a little bit more rough as Six is already up from Weeha, but Six is about to arrive from Ori, and Weeha's gonna be very careful. No Laguna Blade shenanigans. Yeah, it's because Ori bottled an Arcane Rune on the last spawn. Uh, or uh, the two minute rune, rather. That's just such a huge advantage for Alina, especially in a spam happy 1v1. It's actually kind of funny too, because the mid's like, oh, can I can I get some bottle refills, some easy ones? But yeah. like, no one's really dying. The the sports aren't able just to TP in towards the mid lane and give that. But the build from Puck also doesn't lean, lean that way. He went double nulls uh, while the bottle build from Lena. Yeah, it's so frustrating. DY walks all the way back into the jungle but misses the stack by half a second. It's really difficult to time that when you don't have boots, so you're never quite sure how much travel time it'll take you. Icarus dive. Oh, GH. Did he double tap? I think he did. Cancelled halfway in the run, which means there was never going to be the Inkswell connection. And now Miracle tries to slow down Paparazzi. The stroke off target as well. Liquid. GH. Maybe trouble. getting a little tired as the soul bind. Everyone's together. They just hit Miracle. They may just kill GH, but Paparazzi, not enough health, even with the Shadow Word. They have to walk back through the Wraiths. They're trying to hang around, but now with Fade, pick him up, throw him back down again. Kuro doesn't really have much oh, more to give, and the Stampede was used, but Liquid still couldn't retreat in time. Looking real nice for Vici thus far. Phoenix actually TP'd all the way back. Like, Miracle's alone now. Yeah. And maybe that's the reason why you see, like, Troll TPing up towards the Shrine. There's some stacks to take with Ari. He's trying to be efficient to clear through this. Yep. That's the right way to do it. Also gives some free extra levels to Paparazzi. Lina is about to hit seven. You don't really need much more than that. You're at optimal farming speed once you have the max nuke up and running. Will be the Yul's first item. Like that decision. It's really nice against Centaur specifically. He tries to charge forward with the ink swell on him. You just pop him up in the air. Initiation disappears. GH, GH. walks into the light strike array. Hit nice. by a Laguna Blade and Fade provides the extra control time. 
right yeah. underneath the observed ward, and that's what GH yeah, was it, looking to try and sh at least scout out. Yeah, it was the vision that they already have placed on the top bounty rune spawn. They know Phoenix is en route, and the moment he looks to turn up, you're in trouble. Miracle is trying to survive, but the creep wave has set them together, but now Puck, Weeha jumps in, gets a double dream call, and the double hit from Kuro, thanks. Kuro. To Weeha's ulti, and Kuro will hit him. The stroke of fate's able to reach the target, and the fact that Miracle survives to fight yet another day, um, and stay farming in the lane with warding and of course lane control. This is huge because he'll be able to just regen up. And now it's a big question for each. Do you want to come back up into this lane? Because that's going to continue to happen. Puck is arguably the best anti-ganker in Dota 2. You teleport in, coil two, both heroes are dead, especially when there's an ink swell on the Grimstroke ready to follow up. They're doing something about mind control. Fade, paparazzi and Yang are all coming over. Now, soon. telekinesis will be, well, one of the things stopping this doom. All right. He has Stampede available, but it won't, won't matter, as uh, Yang will get that tick out in my control. I think that's the right play, because if you don't doom him there, maybe you find the kill anyway, but he's going to Stampede. He's going to make it so annoying and difficult to track him down. Better to just collect the kill, because you're going to be rotating top as the doom. will be tough to make plays up there, considering that Liquid has... You can expect warding, and there you can see Crow places one just in front of the tier one tower. And I like this. You put the troll back bottom, you've pressured Miracle about as much as you can. Even though you're still a little bit behind in the net worth, your 1v1s are ahead, and you don't want to allow Wii these free counter ganks. It's Puck's a playmaking hero. Yeah. They'll not farm quite as fast as Alina, so. Maxed out silence as well. It's interesting. Wonder why he's looking to. Like, why would you go that? It, over over maxing the orb. Like the orb is uh, just gonna be the push power, right? But But you're you're playing against troll, you're playing against warlock, you kinda want maximum lockdown on these heroes to ensure they don't get their big ults off. Could be make or break. Makes sense. It means they're really layering on the silence once the Grimstroke hits that six. Because then you got Phantom's Embrace as well as the Rift together. They can chain it nicely. GH diving in. Mind control can't reach his target. Fade's already TPing himself away. They wanna try and fight up on top lane, but Miracle will TP out himself leaving his clone behind. And that's where Ori and Fade are fighting. The bubbles come down. And if Ori wants to commit for this, he could, but no, he just wants to steal all the creeps. And the runes. Two for two. Both sides mirroring map now, trying to play and aggressive in the enemy off lane. This is just tier one for tier one now. Yep. Vanguard on my controls, so we can just tank the tower. He's actually gonna kill it like by plus, himself. Plus 187 damage. Yeah. This is uh, this is how centaurs work. They yeah, remember when it was pretty much the same ability, but it didn't have an active plus oh. 200 damage. Yeah, wasn't quite the same. Yeah, hero. Just, just the return. And yeah, Weeha's rushing the veil, so they won't have that blink in initiation for some time. But because of the stampede, you can get away because with the it. spark wraith spam, I think you'll be all right. Look at Yang, you're just going straight for GH. Icarus dive away to safety, cuts a line in the trees. Fortification from Liquid, trying to delay this. Yep. Centaur will still continuously push down the lane. Yang has Doom available, does not want to burn her for GH. You'll have to go underneath the tower. And uh, he doesn't need it. Fade does the work. We are top. Yeah, he's actually got the Dream Call out. And there's that long silence. Ari, unable to really have a response. Now you do at least have a connection. Weeha does not like this at all. He does not want to be locked in. In fact, now with the Doom on him, Stampede is being triggered so he can get some distance. The clone will die. Kuro is here. They have to slow down Yang. He cannot keep the chase going. And now Inks will actually well. stolen, allowing Yang to move closer. This will connect over on the puck, and that's a guaranteed kill onto the mid laner. And Fade wants to go for a little bit more, picking up Kuro. But it looks like Yang was not ready for the fight and especially up against the centaur yeah level four uh two four two on the doom this is not the same as the mc build we saw earlier that maxed out fire lasts so long 50 dps for 16 seconds and the chasing speed yang is a beast and it's allowed him to make a ton of space for paparazzi who's just safely farming in his own jungle 12 minute midas has now arrived for the Arc Warden. So this is when you uh, get a little bit more efficiency out of this hero. But VG Gaming, sure. like, they're efficient across the map. They have the top three net worths. It's just Not so, by a huge amount, but they're still there. It's so difficult for Liquid to make plays. That's the concern. They don't have the blink on Puck. They don't have any of these tanky frontliners. Sure, Mind Control is a bit beefy with the Vanguard, but he's slow. 
Uh, Ori's running around the map at 430 move speed. Doom with the drums phase, max fire. He's incredibly quick as well. Mm -hmm. And Paparazzi's farming in the safest areas of the map. And he's protected by that Orion's belt of wards in near the dire tier two shrine. Very difficult to invade this woods, especially if he moves to the left where there's no vision from Liquid whatsoever. And what a surprise when we start off this series, talk about the vision game from Team Liquid and Kuro and uh, bounces out from both sides. Yep. Now, this is a bit unconventional for Liquid. They're really playing for the later portions of this game. It's gonna be difficult for them to team fight. GH also just now getting Egg online, so they will be able to make a play around that plus the coil. But it's finding the opening that's gonna be difficult as Vici are confident playing in three different lanes at once. They have full vision of Miracle just consistently farming around this triple camp. All right, Ari, you got DD in, uh, in your scepter. It's now finally the time we could uh, look towards that mid-tier one tower, an objective that every team wants to knock out. While up on top lane, there is a wrap around as well. Trying to look for that target. Mind Control gets the hoofs stomp off, so the Ink Swell, which is still in Fade's control, is unable to connect. Neck by his time for GH here. to come in, and, well, that's going to be a hoof stomp stolen from Fade. There's no way yeah. to really get on top of anybody, however, yeah. but it's okay. That's the problem. We is showing bottom. So Vici have the confidence to just dive. You know you can force some response, and without the puck there, there's no control for Liquid to take this engagement. Oh, they actually, yeah. Where's the extra help going to come from? But Vici have four heroes together. They haven't taken the tier one. You're still having your own little battle on the bottom lane. We have versus Troll. And then, well, underneath the Radiant Observer Wall, which is being dewatered out, they hit the Light Strike Array, and there's that Yule Scepter going to work. GH not feeling the way out. Just easier for Vici to make plays. That's exactly what they're doing. Paparazzi, no intention of joining. Once again, love this item decision. It was first popularized by Mickey, but the Maelstrom Rush instead of the Battle Fury gives you that same accelerating farm increase, but it's not nearly as punishing. Like, the buildup's way easier, and you get that next item and the BKB online much faster. So you can go for the Roche timing a lot earlier. Like with amounting a defense for mid. Radiant scan, they hit correctly. Obviously, when there's a bubble on the tower, you no miracle is there. Actually, feeling that movement speed thing you're talking about before, like, so, okay, level 10 talent for Centaur. What do I get? Plus 20 movement speed. Anything I can for the Centaur. Smoke up from VG Gaming. Right Dire to their vision. scanning, it's going to ping, and that's why Weeha. He actually orbs aggressively forward, but does not want to jaunt it. He's coming the back for the bounty for rune, and now Stampede's available. Up onto the hill is dangerous, going into, into the Phoenix with this, but then again, when you get the lockdown, maybe you have enough. Weeha gets the dream call off. out, but now the rock will drop too. The Phoenix Nova doesn't really connect on anything, but GH wants to go back in again. Blink on Centaur, he wants to get in and fight, but there's no opportunities. Fade's nearby, but the clone will time out. Love the confidence from Vici. They had vision above, so they know that there's no real way Liquid can surprise them here. They saw we had orbed and just drum and fade move straight forward. If you can kill the puck, it's that second round of spells that really punishes you. Your heroes are so tanky. If you can kill the puck, you don't really mind the coil egg too much because it's the next round that really starts to kill you. And Miracle wasn't there. And he can't really be there. He's an Arc Warden yeah. with nearly a Maelstrom on top of the Midas, but it's just not the same hero he knows until you get job. the levels. He knows his job, right? His job is to not be there. Yeah. It's just the warding. Again, Vici has such great vision that they can play around Liquid's movement so easily. They're going to three-man try and coil stolen from Fade in that last fight. Boy. Along with the Aether Lens, this is crazy sick. And they get a free haste for Ori. Sure. And he's got another initiation on him. There's your Dream Call going to work on its original owner. We have actually walked in to the Light Strike Array. He'll let his own Dream Call off. Wants to orb and join himself away, but the Lacuna play from Ori. He just waited it perfectly. Second time, we had deaths. This looks really good for VG, and Ori just wants to go for it. There's that haste room once more. Now the Light Strike Array, V support, so he just can't be anywhere on the map. Fade, Illusionary orbs himself in very, very deep, but now Yang with the Doom gets low for on the Phoenix. The oh, Denial! What? Miracle is able to do that with the clone and try and fight now underneath their Tier 2 tower. Fade again stealing the stomp underneath double spark rates. One's going to hit, and that's going to be enough. Miracle killing off Fade and ending that very pesky Rubik's yeah. life. They keep the tower alive, though. That is important. And Miracle takes first position in the net worth. He's done a great job collecting kills. Got the one top with the teleport of the clone. Gets this one here. But remember, it's Paparazzi still just free farming around the map. The three cores of Vici nipping at the heels of the Miracle Arc Warden. And with that BKB queued up on the troll, you can expect that once that item's collected, they can move into the Roche Pit, look to force a fight. You have no BKB lockdown for the troll. 
That's when they need, like, more... Like, they need scary damage from Miracle. They need a way to force VG off objectives. Yes. It's the active items that are going to change things. Notably, the E-Blade, because not the defensive peel as Troll tries to get aggressive, and also, you have a Grimstroke. So the double Hex, the double E-Blade, that's what makes this combo so scary. It's just about buying time. Weeha needs the blink, but he's so far away from it. It's those two deaths, you see him right in the marker. Like, that's when things start to, like, flatline a little bit as far as the net worth increase. And that's the reason why now he's behind the Centaur in net worth. Yeah. Dude, and Obviously, Yang. the map gets a little bit tighter with the Arc Warden pushing all the lanes, but... Yeah. It's just so cool. Every game of Dota is different, right? Yang was talking about how he didn't go with the Max Devourer, went for this aggro build, but he went back for a Midas after the phase drums. Mind so control. he's going to scale no matter Pick what. Up. You have Mind Control getting the Hoof Stomp off. He's really trying to get rid of the Rubik. Another Icarus Knight forward. Great the egg. Nova over on the other side of the hill. Maybe the Rock Drop is able to create more space than it is. Two heroes already going down. You get the Phoenix Egg off, and with the attacks, Ari oh, will fall. Miracle trying to hold him inside the bubble. will allow Wee to get up the hill, but now he's fatally bonded up. If Miracle takes damage, we will die. I think Wee dies no matter what you do at the moment. Paparazzi finds him in the tree line. A miracle was ready to fight. He had the double damage rune, so he's mopped up the golem and he stopped the pressure from VG. But the cost yeah. is so high from Liquid to get the kill on Ori. Crazy, that's a three for one. Felt like it was a great initiation from Liquid. It was just mind control. It's a bit too deep. He's on the enemy high ground, and once again, they're under vision of VG Gaming. It was a great egg, great coil, but they just don't have the damage. Yep. They don't have the damage until Miracle can provide it. And even though he mops up the kills, even though he has a DD, it's just not enough. These heroes are far too tanky. And this is before the BKB on Paparazzi. That's when things get real spooky for Team Liquid. Rune's up in one minute as well. I expect some sort of engagement around the bounties. And Mir he's going, he's squishy still. You gotta be careful. He needs to ensure he's positioned in the back line. His team's done a great job so far of ensuring they're the ones creating space in front of him. Yep. But he's very susceptible if he gets caught by any sort of stun. <laughs> Alina Ovori has a Shadow Blade. He's gonna start hunting. It's still kind of crazy though. They've had double Midas up to 9.6k net worth. Above the rest of EG by 500, but Paparazzi, he's pushing in the bottom lane. The Raiden are actually scanning to see if anyone's coming towards them because Team Liquid are smoked up. So the scan, it feels right. It feels like someone should be trying to gank up the Troll Warlord. But as for the 20 minute bounty runes, Liquid will probably claim both of them. So there won't yeah. be a fight over these. Yeah, you, look, you look at what Yang and Ori have queued up. It's the same as Paparazzi, it's the BKB. This timing is so scary for Liquid. They have no method of controlling them once these items are acquired. I expect we get an Ags eventually, but he's still a thousand gold from Blink. He's, his net worth is not in a position where he can think about his third or fourth item. Still haven't really felt the effect of the Veil either. It's like, like it's helped him farm. Like we get to watch him efficiently farm at one point. But outside of that, Team Liquid, six kills to their name, 5,000 net worth behind VG Gaming. This is not that early aggression, which you thought you might be able to get from them. And VG will just slowly progress further and further ahead. The top four networks are ahead by a long way, and three of them are VG. They need to initiate on the back line. They've got to find Ori, the Rubik, the Warlock, anybody squishy. All these end heroes in the back. Yang's going to do his part and ensure that he can just make life miserable for Liquid like we saw him do when he dove the Tier 1 initially. Mm -hmm. Game slowed down significantly, but a 5k gold lead for VG. They're okay with this. They've got Max Devour and a Midas Doom. Mm -hmm. Paparazzi finishing the BKB soon. Yang will have his as well. And then uh, I just don't know how you stop these two strength cores. It's a very good question. 150 on the bonus gold. Sure. Not like Doom's got enough cash as it is. Mind control is there just to mop up the lane, but he can't do much more than that. So VG Gaming really filling in that position of power. Not really giving an opportunity for uh, Team Liquid to fight back. Like there needs to be some, a mistake yep. almost from VG. One player caught out of position. The Blink Dagger might be able to help mm. actually catch that player out of position, let the puck go to work. Uh, I really think vici has got a read on the timing of this Arc Warden because, you know, Miracle's going to continue to grow his net worth lead, but they recognize that none of the items he's picking up in the next five to ten minutes are really going to change the game too much. Maelstrom to Mjolnir. All right, Mjolnir, now he has bots. It's cool, but if you have three BKBs and Liquid have nothing to stop you, that's a that's a fight winning advantage. You can just march down objectives. And Yang's he's about to finish his. Is he gonna get the stack? No. That's I didn't aggro. <laughs> it takes a second to tick the initial DPS. Nice Girl, spirit vessel. That's a nice one from GH. May make Paparazzi think uh, twice before he before he jumps him. It's really good against the troll ultimate. Sure yeah. he doesn't get a 
free Satanic's worth of HP back. Yep. He's got to time it night right. Now the bit the blink up for Rubik. Yeah. Not like he had enough range as it is with the Ether Lens, but uh, now Fade, that same kind of presence that Team Liquid had previously, now in the hands of VG Gaming. Just feels like VG yeah. have everything ready to go. And yep, with and the three man, four man smoke up, it's go time. Double BKB is prepared. Ari the only one not inside of it. They look towards Roshan and then they'll loop up. Mind Control's there, ready to break the smoke. And Liquid, they're there, ready to fight as well. Doombringer, he's a frontline scout. They get the pickup over on the center. Where's the rest of the team? Now we are can see him. So no Dream Call just yet. They're gonna let Mind Control burn. They can't do anything, Toby. Against the BKBs, they just don't have enough. And mm -hmm. Paparazzi holding both the ultimate and the BKB, he almost died. Holy crap. Yeah, he's on almost nothing. And if Liquid engaged, maybe they would have caught him, but maybe the, they would have lost the entire team. Centaur dies, doesn't burn Stampede. And they're still yeah. very fearful of the rock, because once you jump in, you can get hit by the Fatal Ones, you get hit yeah. by that Chaotic Offering. It, it was just that hesitation, because he clicks Doom, realizes, oh wait, that's a BKB, I can't fight. But by that time, he's already tanked the damage from the fire and can no longer blink away. Liquid wisely just let him die. They're going to try and just defend this tier oh. one. Miracle, Arc Warden spam. He does a hell of a lot of damage with Spark Race everywhere. Vici couple a lot of damage, and maybe this is the other thing which uh, Vici need to be aware of. Like, you can blink over the top of these for, for Fade, but the supports do not like walking through these race, these spark rates. Impossible yeah. to stay alive when the puck is hunting for any kind of low HP heroes in the back line. Yep. And as always, Liquid have a ton of wave clear. They can plant a couple heroes at tower. Yeah, need to drop some sentry wars, what they need to do to the northern side. There's two obs that are already down. And it sees it when Liquid are trying to hold that high ground. GH will be able to deny the towers. No extra goal for VG. And what does Liquid instantly do? They smoke up. I think it was out of range of that Radiant Ops. And they're looking for their own target. GH wishes he was just looking for a reward mission. And if he plants it down, they get the information. DY and He's Fade over on the side, but GH doesn't have a good one yet. And now they turn around. Hoofstone forward. They'll kill off the Rubik. Kuro is the man to claim it for 3 2 5. And they get something out of this maneuver. Yep. So how do they need to start fights? An initiation onto the Rubik or Warlock, find the kill. But the thing is, these supports can cover each other quite easily. They both have methods of breaking up the initial onslaught, but it, there's honestly just so much spell oh damage. <laughs> Mind control hits so hard. You'll set to now up towards the air. Stampede's available. We are thinking about the fight, but the BKB's already out. Now the Dream Call will go to work, but maybe with the Rock down, it doesn't really hit that hard. But the orb from Weeha, they just disengage, baiting out huge abilities and BKBs from VG Gaming. That's and what does VG fight. get? VG think about runes. That's what they get. They're gonna get one, but man, that's... I can't believe Liquid... Well, hang on. My control, Dust. <laughs> he just wants to watch Ari. Uh, who's got a BKB now up as well. And you can see Liquid, they, they recognize the timing just like VG does. They just want to get these spells used. And I said no BKB control, but if you get the soul bind off on Troll next to one of these squishier heroes, uh -huh. he's leashed to the back lines. He can no longer dive forwards to cover his Lina, <laughs> so they have to drop the Golem a bit afraid. You make it sound like Gladiator. Let me just cut off your hand so I can start fighting with it. Pick up, throw down. This is going to be one very, very dead Kuro with the Golem on top of him. Yep. DY is the one that actually claimed the last hit. Straight into the pit. But down on bottom lane, I'm also seeing Arc Warden pressuring the Tier 2 towers. Like, they have to fortify VG Gaming, and what answer do you really have to the global split push? I know you can clean out waves if you're VG Gaming, but how can you always defend the lane? Like, lean a TP down to the bottom lane. Yep. Maybe that's why you're also seeing the BTs pick yep, up. So exactly. BTs and TP scroll. You need a BTs hero to be able to play against Arc Warden, and Lena is your ideal hero, but it gets scary when Miracle gets that next item, that initial lockdown, whether that's, uh, it's really the Hex, when all of a sudden he can hunt you as you try and split push him around the map. Icarus dive forward. Team Liquid has the information, thanks to their Dire Observer on the top of that sentry. It doesn't catch out VG's obs. Into, ret into retreat, fade. Oh, he oh, actually had the soul bind stolen. They're gonna nail down both of them. Goodbye to Phoenix. The Doom was doubled up as well. You can't and the stop puck him. is on the run. Fade, Yang, he moves so fast forward. And Team Liquid were not ready for that Rubik. That was insane. He held that for so long. It was ticking, I think it was like 20 or 30 seconds left on duration. You can see Yang just, you can't stop Yang. He just gets the Doom off and chases forwards. Paparazzi now into the pit. Way more important of an objective than the tier two. You can go right back to that tower if you'd like. And Team Liquid have no intention of fighting this again. Still, the yeah. Arc Warden is not 
ready. This is the this is the anti mage kind of scenario. I have not finished farming yet. I am not a real hero yet. So I can send a clone to bottom lane, pressure the tier two tower, but they can't stop Roshan. Paparazzi yep. takes it way too quickly. Uh, you can see Miracle with the Shadow Blade now. Hex is queued up. That's when he can start looking to get aggressive and buy time for his team. We've done an admirable job keeping him in the game. It's only a 6k gold lead. Uh -huh. Vici have the Aegis. They still have this really huge power spike because of all the spell immunity. But as the BKB timers tick down, as this item comes online for Weeha, you can see he's halfway there. The yes. Aghanim Scepter stops everything Vici wants to do in its tracks. And they can no longer count on the Troll or the Doom. To, to find kills, to find targets, you can pop coil, stampede away, and Liquid will always be able to peel themselves away from an engagement. Great scan. VG catching out Liquid, coming into the Radiant Jungle. Kura is going to find the fresh sentry. Was like, well, do I want to attack this? They've already backed up, so he'll lose his own sentry if he doesn't. Just reveals his position for it. Mind control reveal on bottom. Pipe and Vanguard done. Holding his one charge for extra health. They smoke up. They know they're fine. And Paparazzi under the cover of a Glimmer Cape. They use him to run up the hill, but the Spark Wraith, they work like Techies Mines. If you walk through it, you know they're there. Makes it very difficult to actually have any kind of initiation out. So if it was being planted down as well, so VG can see around the tree lines, they'll only find the Miracle Clone. Weeha, not feeling that initiation at all. I love this ward they placed just uh, above where the Tier 2 used to be. You can see it right there next to the Spark Wraith. It's very unlikely to be dewarded, but it gives so much vision, especially once your tower has gone down, because that's an area of the map where you can expect Dyer to try and set up, especially when Roche isn't an objective. The money, though, that Liquid are getting is VG. Like, how many times can you rotate as five? I think we were having this discussion during the drafting phase. So VG, you group up, you want to push, you get a team fight, you're feeling good. But how do you deal with Miracle? Always on the sidelines, always causing these type of problems. He actually does damage now with a clone. And yeah, you can kill the clone, but Paparazzi's losing so much life. Mjolnir is down. In fact, Whoa. Paparazzi is almost dead. He runs to the other side of the bubble. Miracle's clone will fall. But remember, like, it is Aegis the Immortal. Paparazzi will be fine. But this is a tale of things to come. And how long does VG have before this, Wharton's online. He's starting to do damage to one hero. Mm. When does he threaten everybody? The, the talents, man. Level 20, two seconds, Spark Wraith cooldown. Level 25, plus 350 damage per. Uh, we saw what happened to VP when they were caught unawares by that spike. Mm. And you have tools now to control the BKBs. You will have the Puck Ags. If you can kite out these big abilities from Vici, now all of a sudden the magic damage from Mark Wharton. That'll be what propels Liquid into the lead. Assuming they can continue to buy this amount of time and space. Well, they're buying it, because, like, okay, the tier one tower is definitely, like, Paparazzi can just walk up. There's no backdoor protection on these. It's top lane. Trouble on the centaur. He's doomed up, and he is most definitely left for dead. No one else is going to be there. While in mid lane, it's actually Ori, who was the one being initiated on two, but it's Kuro who goes down instead. Ori just turns around, and even with the arc warp there to help, it ends up being two kills on mid and top lane, like one apiece, going yeah. the way of Vici. So that it's a good job of each other. They're still in a position where they're stronger. It's Liquid that need more time. They have Hex, they have the gold for it on Miracle. Puck's still a thousand away from Ags, but like they need those items God, before Miracle. they can do things. Miracle is such a dick with that Shadow Blade. Paparazzi initiates, he Shadow Blades the coin into the trees, comes out, takes out the catapult. Like, yo, I'll take this, I'll remove your heavy push power, and Weeha then just has to creep skip as well. He can nuke this wave that's coming. Shiva's on Doom, more vision provided. It's excellent against the Arc Warden, who does not have a BKB. Yang's just gonna go full Divide for him, try and force an ultimate coil. I mean, still, there, there's no oh Axe Bowl. Miracle, there's that Scythe going to work, trying to kill off the support. You also drop him towards the air, the coin won't last much longer, and Fade makes sure of it. Telekinesis hold. But Ari's on the hunt once again with his own new, with his own, uh, Shadow Blade, Kuro slowed down by Paparazzi. GH turns on the Sunray, but Kuro not ready for the fight. Can only do the Soulbind, and then the double Hex. Remember, Miracle they can do this. Too. We, are we are jumping in. They're going to try and hold him there. The damage output is heavy. Troll is going to go down. Remember, he's got the Aegis more, but they burn through the Supernova. Ori just BKBs and stands his ground. The Light Strike Array, a little bit off target, but it won't matter as long as they can keep that trap on the puff. No way for Weeha to escape. Miracle's close doing some level of damage back. Not the real one, but it won't matter when VG Gaming keep everybody alive. And they'll take the tier two tower along with the three kills. With no rebuttal from Liquid. 
He's playing so well. You can see the counter initiation potential. They just double BKB, run forwards, rock drops. And Liquid are not able to find a burst in the duration of the Soulbind double hex. Mind Control got interrupted by the rock. You can see he would have had the follow-up stun before the BKBs were able to come out, but that mini erupt prevents the follow-up, and then he's just in trouble, has to walk away from the fight. Miracle's coin's really not giving up on this with a Shadow Blade. As much damage as you can, take the wave, take the hero, take whatever you possibly can, take the space to be created, but Liquid are most definitely backed into a corner. And how do you back, how do you get yourself out of this one? Fiji Gaming, they've got the money, they've got the kills, they've got the momentum. He's gotta keep playing Liquid Dota. Split up the map, farm the lanes, get time. Miracle level 20, only five more to go. Weeha still a thousand gold from the Aghanim <laughs> Scepter. He, just, he needs that oh, so, so much. He's fallen so far behind Ori. You know, the 8k net worth separating these two players now. It's like before, right? Like you look for that snowball kind of style hero. Timber Sword, now the puck with Veil, but oh. there's, there's just, yeah, there's no, there's no snow. Look at this play from Vici. They're going to smoke all the way around the long wrap as Ori TPs into tower. He could deny that tower as well, but he doesn't even need oh, to. He's got Lincoln like, in it. Liquid, you want to come for it? Smoke up around the back. They'll go under Observer Sentry. Courier, not worth the snipe. They're coming here for heroes, not for couriers. The Dyer, they're out right now. They want to kill off Ori. Buyback is not available. Stampede already being triggered. Vici Gaming, do you want to fight this? or no, you don't. Blink away. Get out to safety. They're under vision now, though. You got to be careful if you're Vici. Oh, they're still running. That's why the TP comes over. BKB from Paparazzi begins the TP out, but Dream Cold does not care about the BKB. I mean, well, BKB doesn't care about the Dream Cold. Other way around. <laughs> Only he had eggs. Uh, it's on the courier now. And they would have had it. Well, the Doom, he understands, like, they must have been fighting a division. That fresh observed ward, gem of true sights on the Doom. But he's jumping forward. And the Shadow Blade from Miracle is no longer that easy get out of jail free card if the Doom's there. He's going to go for the refresher as well. Love that decision. When you go to the BKB Sheev, as often you max out at the refresher. Puck Ags is active, 30 seconds on the runes. Mind Control is going to look forward, but will not get there in time to protect his ward. They are just mass spark wraithing everything they can. Yes. It's like, as many of these 35 minute runes you'll take, him. the Arc Warden is still like, he's skyrocketing ahead in net worth because they're not catching him. Yep. Uh, you've still got a 402 Arc Warden. And now Miracle puts it to work after DY. He actually attacked the range creep. He stopped attacking the hero. He just wants to farm up the wave after just getting VG game to look behind themselves, which opens up Liquid to go for more runes, but down on bottom, the initiation comes in from Doombringer. It's over on Kuro. The Sunray will give him that life back, and Doom not committing the ultimate. Just yeah. the BKB, but he's down to seven seconds. These durations are getting lower and lower. Yang has played such an incredible game so far. He's 5-0 and 10, and he's constantly pushing his limits. It's not as if he's been safely farming his own jungle. He's always the one most aggressive even the talents. He went for the Doom DPS. Level 20, he'll have a refresher and about a thousand gold. And then all of a sudden, as long as he gets his spells off, and sure, you can control him with the coil, but you can't stop him from casting unless somehow you find the initiation with the hex. And even if you do that, he's got he's so tanky. Yep. That's where Miracle needs crazy ass damage. Butterfly will be the item of choice. But be careful whilst they're also farming underneath the Radiant Observer was. Two of them down from VG Gaming, watching Liquid's northern side. But it darkens the southern end. They don't see anything down there. Miracle will always play no risk Dota. Yep. Send the clone. He'll run down the mid. He'll farm up the wave. If he finds a support, they'll initiate on him. Use the bubble. Roshan. And VG don't want anything to do with it. Roshan spawns in a minute's time. Liquid, they've got to be a bit concerned. They have, I mean, we can see it, they can't, but there's vision in their jungle. So playing in this area is going to be very difficult as the Roshan looks to spawn up soon. That's why Kuro is here, but he's only got one sentry ward in the inventory. Yeah. He needs to actually check the hillside behind. Yeah. Five man smoke up. They want the fight under that vision. Look at the wrap. Look at the lines. Does Kuro see it? He's spinning around. He dropped the sentry ward, but he doesn't see up on the hill. Okay, yeah, the they do. They, got, got, they got rid of it. The Dire Observe was there instead. So Miracle sends the clone out and uh, break the smoke. They initiate on the clone. Nothing huge though. Just the smoke break. No big abilities triggered. The curl out. They've got vision in their own jungle in response. So they'll know that Beach you're heading towards the pit. I think you've got to contest this one if you're liquid. Well, the clone is dead for another 18 seconds. 
Ooh. Are they really looking to try and turn around for this one? That's a lot of money for Tempest Doubles, but you needed it for the space. Yeah. Paparazzi, there's your orb forward, Weeha. Still doesn't have the initiation just yet. Got the Agnim to pick him up. He's got to get the Dream Call off. And actually, Illusory Orb's on. Weeha, four star down. He's able to phase shift. Can he join himself up? No, that's Fade doing that work. He'll blink himself away to safety as Kuro yours have dropped towards the air. He'll get the Soul Bite off on Fade as well as Paparazzi, but there's no follow up. And once again, Liquid, Roshan will happen. And if it wasn't for the Tempest double down on bottom lane, there'll be no other pressure applied to VG. DY buying out of Lads for this fight just with a little bit of damage amplification along with the life steal for the troll. <laughs> just in case Every it's little not bit. enough. He never drops. The clone did reach the tier 3 tower with a creep wave, but uh, it timed out. Now, here comes Liquid. The orb flies in from Weeha. He knows it's low. They don't want to go for it. That's a lot of stuff sitting on the ground because now it's the Nova already down. They've got Yang trying to beat through it under the cover of the BKB. The Nova will stun both Ori, but what was on He's Supernova? So Rubik actually got it. He'll look for the target. The Rock will drop over on Centaur. Isolated slightly. Miracle sending his clones up. Sees Fade over on the sidelines. Can he get the Supernova off? He will not. Miracle finds that kill already with the clone. Then moves over towards Ori, but Paparazzi, they'll take care of it. There's still a one-for-one -one trade off and that could have been a hell of a lot worse for Liquid. But there you go, see Mortals on Paparazzi, and he's ready to go. At some point, they got Fade, though. They killed the Rubik before the egg could become an issue. Even if they didn't, like, if VG Gaming backed off and that Supernova was yeah. sitting inside the Rubik, that would have been probably even worse, because VG, that's set up. That, well, that's real miracle, TPing bottom. It is, yeah, she made a copy. Goes Invis. Oh, the, Doom is, the Doom is he looking for him. He scanned him out, he knows. Looking in the trees with the Shiva's guard. The coin's already right for the tier 3 tower. So Miracle gets some chip damage in. If he had guessed the right direction, I think he kills Miracle there. There's no Lincolns, there's no protection. Yang can just Shiva's BKB, get the Doom off. And this is obviously, obviously Miracle's plan, though. Always push the bottom lane. How many times have we said throughout this tournament that Radiant always have issues with the bottom lane? It's always pressuring in, which means there's always an opportunity if you can just chip away at the tier 3 tower bit by bit. The VG Gaming pushing high ground ends up with them losing Arax, yep. especially if the real miracle goes. GH about to be level 18 soon. Then that egg becomes far more difficult to take out. As expected, Ori does itemize for the eggs. It's just so much burst damage. They want to be able to kill Miracle. If you look at his net worth, he's about equal to his two cores combined. Yeah. But it's, it's going to be so hard for the rest of Liquid, right? They're taking all the farm. So unless they find kills like Weeha, he doesn't see Ori, but he will find the Doom Bringer. Quick blink away. But for the orbs able to connect, it's about to spawn. You're going to get two for Liquid Bottom and an Arcane Rune. Unless I'm Yang can the beat him to rune. it. Yeah, that Doom moves very quickly. An Icarus dive up. At least allows them to catch both the bounties on bottom. But there's the Refresher all for the Doom Bringer. Just about getting your spells off if you're Vici. If you, I love the Satanic build of Paparazzi as well. Status resist, man. The Hex is not nearly as threatening as it is on other sorts of heroes that cannot afford to itemize in this manner. Yeah, look at this, GH is having to play the side lanes this time around. They can't risk the Puck too nice. much anymore, but uh, having Puck with the with the orb upgrade, now now we actually see Weeha having to play that side lane with the Tempest double, but they're hunting. Kuro and Mind Control are waiting for Ori, yep. as well as Fade, who is sitting in the tree, so Mind Control is going to reveal himself first. Ori's keeping his stacks up, but he's actually BTing in towards the mid lane now. Yep. I've had enough of this. But what have you got? You got Miracle's clone pushing the wave back out. Yep. Like, how do you get farm if you're Team Liquid? Like, Miracle's taking everything. It's tough. I mean, it's good in some ways, but... Yeah, it's hard you... in the others. You're the only hero. Pretty much. Now he's building in for an MKB as his next primary item. Yep. He's going to have that finished on uh, the troll. It's on Courier right now, along with the Tome. He's hit level 25, Battle Transfer, Strong, Dispel. MKB, it's just such a huge pickup because now he'll be able to actually threaten Miracle even inside of the bubble. It won't work on structures, of course, but he can at least potentially go range for him and beat into that Arc Warden no, if they look, find some sort of control. Yeah, we look at both sides, like both Troll and Arc Warden having it. So Miracle, yeah, bubble is up, but he walks in. Man, that damage, oh Paparazzi. My God. What do you think you've got? There's a lot of damage still from Miracle, but then, of course, Satanic yeah. gets all of his life back. A little bit more trouble over on Puck, doomed up and brought down. Gem down as well. Weeha, not again. Not oh, like this. That's now two gems into the hands of VG Gaming. One on Doom, one on Rubik. Vision game from Liquid just got ten times harder. Yeah. They're just playing so well around the map. 
Vich Gaming. Wait, did he just... Okay. He re -bought the refresher. Yeah. He bought it and sold it because he wanted to have buyback. Now he has both and 85 gold. This is about as good as it gets for a Doombringer. Mm -hmm. I still want to see how VG end this. Going high ground without a bad trade-off. This is the best yeah. position these Crete waves have been in a very long time, all on the dire side of the river. I don't know if I'd like it this from my control. He'll have to wait for the next wave. It's all about the level 25s. Miracle is almost, he's one and a quarter levels away. Yep. There you go. He's going to grab the next wave up on top lane. Hold him back. Got fortified the wave up, and it's actually with the TP in. Doom, he's looking for the hunt on mind control, but he just blinked to the, probably the closest point in the tree line away from every other position the VG Gaming was looking for. But buying more time and bringing very close towards that Aghanim Scepter of the Centaur. Some kind of save for Team Liquid from VG's initiation. Yep. Something to get them away from it's, that double Doom. The, the gold at this point isn't really Liquid's concern. It's getting their heroes online as far as levels go. Level 20 for the Phoenix, whether he gets the Icarus dive or the 1.25 second stun duration on an egg, which I think is going to be the choice here. It, it's huge for his hero. Miracle, we already know what he needs. 25 of the spark rate damage. That's what's going to make it truly, yeah. <laughs> really difficult for Vici <laughs> to penetrate base. But for now, they don't have this online. There's no Aegis, so Vici are content to just keep Liquid in the base. She's, it, she's actually in the backpack for the Troll Wall. That's not going to do him much good there. But what else do you want to switch out? Your phase boots? I no, need boots here. You yeah. need the mobility. It's like you want Ags Doom next. So Doom's gonna go for the double Ags ultimate. Oh, GH got him with the Tinker nice. Wars. GH can't get away from this one. Yeah, any yeah. <laughs> it's like watching a chess match. You're like, oh, they got me there. I know what happened. Uh, Doom instantly TP BT's up towards the top lane. They want to make sure these lane this lane pressure continues. They just have to creep skip out almost VG mm. Gaming. They need to be able to grab the creep wave in the bottom, almost like a lone druid would with the bear. Drag it yep. to the mid, so we don't have to keep looking behind all the time. Yep. That's, that's why this game is hitting 44 minutes. VG Gaming are 17k ahead. They're looking good. They're itemizing everything they need for the team fights. The problem is they never have the opportunity because they're either cleaning up their wave mm -hmm. or they're waiting for Liquid to come out of position. But there's a reason why Liquid are not getting the levels. They're not getting the money. Yeah. It's because Miracle is doing the push for them. It's, it's very much a Tinker game. Yeah. You might be in a position now as DY takes some experience. He's trying to get level 25 and that Aghanim's up. But you could have four heroes level 25 on Vici before Miracle hits his. And at that point, you got to figure they'll look to make something happen. But Roshan can spawn in a minute to four minutes. That'll be the Ags and Refresher? It will be. No, it's just the third. Just, just the, the third. third. Just the third. We'll get one of the two. Yeah, Lean so already Vici has got one. All, Vici got all four bounty runes for yep. the 45-minute mark. So that's, that's a lot of money. 21K is now the yeah. advantage for Vici. I can't remember which, who said it, it was. Either Zhao oh. or ZSMJ, but you know, what is a He's gold lead? Forward. The Stampede already out. Sentinel just wants to get the hell out of here with the Dream Call as well. Is there a way to get away to safety? Kuro inside <laughs> the trees will complete his own TP out. More problems for Centaur. He's got the only place he can hide, but now they get the vision. Retaliate. Okay, not exactly what they was hoping for, but you'll take it. Laguna Blade to get the kill on Mind Control. But the push is again in mid. They go to bottom lane. They get him to look behind and look instant yeah. TP from Doom. It's he knows so he needs to push the lane in. It's more important that he hunts. That's the thing. You've got to make sure that Liquid is afraid to play the side lanes. Find a kill in one lane, immediately sweep the map oh. with a teleport as the rest of your team cuts across to follow. Smart maneuvering from Weeha, not going up the lane where Paparazzi would have chased. GH gonna find his own target, Whoa. a quick Icarus dive away. Doom doesn't have the ultimate up, but it won't stop from refresher orbing. BK being GH cannot keep that Icarus dive going, begins his own TP out. There's your Yule Scepter up, a miracle. He comes in with a bubble, he cannot save GH's life. But he might oh, be able to what? get a revenge kill with the clone. What? Doom goes down. A huge shriek. Level end. 25. That, that's it, Toby. Yep. Level 25. Here we go. He's that, that. on. He not only gained 1400, but he got the experience. And the, Miracle. He had it, I believe, from a Tome, and then that's why the Doom dies. It's the same thing we've seen all game, but instead of now just being a harmless harassment, it's it's a kill. Yep. It's a kill solely because of this insane damage spike. It's like double damage on your Wraith. Sure. Good luck, VG. The Look coins the are coming out. They're looking. Oh, my they God. They are everywhere. This is why Techies isn't in the meta. You have Arc Warden. 
They jump forward, Fade. He's close. Miracle. He wants to go for this, but the clone will come in through the back line. Looking for it instead. Dream oh. Call over out. Maybe with a spark race. Set him up towards the air. They'll come down pretty hard with the Dream Call holding Fade there. He's protected <laughs> by the Aeon disc. Got it just now, Vichy. You, know, you got a 21k gold lead. It's about as big as it's been, but Smoke up. Liquid are confident to make this play. They've got five alive. Jank's still dead for 30 seconds. Oh, and they control. know his refreshers on cooldown. My control sees DY. He wants to get the jump on this. He wants to make sure there's no Fettle Bonds and Rock, but they have to kill him fast. That's the problem. Weeha, still no Dream Call, still no big AoE control. Paparazzi, he'll turn around. The clone begins the fight with the pick up. Mind control! Hit the double hop stop! They'll catch up the Rubik, but the rock creates the extra space. Defensive Yor set drop in the air, but they're still stop bound together. Fade needs oh the distance, but there's a the from Koro! It's the stroke of fate! They clean up the golem, they look in towards Roshan. God, it's like. You, you think it's a repeat of the winner bracket final, that third game where Vici close out the series with this methodical patience, eventually just overwhelming Liquid, but I think they might have waited too long, Toby. This is... It's Arc Warren's a different beast. He's doing, like, double deep. It's, it's not fair. You, this is not fair. Hey, this is Dota. You beg the question, VG Gaming, how many items did you need before you could make a play? It's difficult against clones. You don't get that wrong. Mind Control, they're trying to finish this Tier 2 tower. They've got it as well. The Arc Warden is inside the pit right now. They're still waiting for Roshan. How? What the? Arcane Rune. What is oh. this? Okay. It spawns, dude, it spawns in 16 seconds. Does, is, this an instant, is this an instant kill? Is this no actually, way. It's not an instant kill, but it's, it's going to be close. 30%. How many? How many, 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 many can you actually spawn? <laughs> oh, keep doing we, it. We need a counter. All oh right, Roshan, here we go, man, from 100 to oh, zero! Man. Get blasted! Holy shit! <laughs> it's Dota, it's Dota. Don't you love some Dota? Refresher up now, with that went to the puck, you have double dream coil. <laughs> Uh, you, you, the oh. thing is, you can't run out of the coil, Toby, and by the time you do, your BKBs are faded, and spark rates. Mm -hmm. uh, it feels like even though they're still 12k ahead, Liquid have just moved into a dominating position in the game. You have a Lincoln's up on the Centaur, so you give some method of preventing the Doom. There isn't much to cancel on the side of Ichi. You had a 40,000 experience advantage for VG Gaming. This has made a downward spiral to about 25k. The gold is continuing as well. And VG Gaming, Kyle, I'm asking this question 50 minutes into the game. What do you do? Do, I, you, do you smoke it, out? Do you initiate? Do you actually try and fight not this? Not anymore, Toby. You, you had that chance a while ago, but, but you notice how when they had the uh, timing, like... <laughs> they're going to disagree with you, Kyle. Just uh, like we disagree with Roshan being one hit down by the Arcane Roost Spark Race. The Tempest Double has already arrived at the Tier 3 Tower. No one's here to defend. If you want warning look, bells, it's look. ringing. We've got the largest spell in the world, according to Shiva, right here in Moscow. But look at Liquid, they, they are some, they're not in their base any longer. Because they have these talents online, they're now playing enemy high ground. This is the perfect spot as Dire Side. Play the top oh. shrine area Hi, for Korea. Radiant. Hi, Korea. Are you worth it? That's worth oh. it. It's the Lincoln Sphere down, but they're exposed in the back line. Mind Control looking for D.Y. He's so close. The Hulk Stomp, they'll get the initiation out with the Hex Control. Oh. They've brought him down. Buys Buyback back. to Babel. They're coming over towards the Shrine. The Supernova's already there too. Three but now coil. Warlock can actually get through the rear. You actually have the three-man Coil. That's and a refresher on GH. And Dream Coil actually stolen. Return back over. And with the Supernova, have they got enough? No, they don't. It can't pop. Miracle's actually dying. The Eagles Immortal will burn. But VG Gaming be fighting. Push him back, DY's there to fight. They all got fatally bottled up, couldn't do anything else they either. Yang's on the run back out, he'll go down. Miracle actually getting the streak. You'll lose Puck, five acts are heavily available. Paparazzi claims a triple kill, and Liquid are all dead. Way too aggressive, Toby. GH, I love the second egg, but you can't do it in the middle of the fight. There were five Vici heroes alive, and you just go, just in, you, you what? Uh -huh. But this is why VG wanted to come out. They smoke, they fight, Look, and they have to have confidence in themselves. But Miracle, he's got a whole bunch of rates, but these golems are immune. Oh. But then again, maybe Paparazzi is not as immune. The clone, it will die. Another yep. one bites the dust. And, and DY had the buyback as well. So not only does he spawn these huge golems with spell immunity, yep. by the way, because yep. he's got level 25, hey, he respawns right. to drop more. Ooh, hello. Dagon Scepter Phoenix now up. Uh, 
Li Liquid have to, they learn their lesson, all right? You, you can play <laughs> into Vici as they run up your high ground, but you cannot just fully commit Especially if Vici still have BKBs available. Hey, VG also learned that lesson. They knew where to play around. You didn't care about the Warlock dying. Liquid reveal their position. Yep. They can play it back. And the Rubik on the back lines, he did so much work. He hit the three-man dream call out. That's kind of why GH was totally isolated in that mid-fight. They had no way to move properly. Yep. And, and it's so crucial. Another Racket Inceptor are going to arrive. I'm waiting for the one on the Rubik because then he gets to buff up everything else. But the Ags is there for the Warlock. And he's almost, tw uh, yeah, he's already 25, so we're good. And Kuro, uh, that Courier dead for 50 more seconds. He had a Lincoln's. As soon as he gets his, you have two available, and they can do exactly what they're doing now inside the base, which is just spamming on top of Miracle. Try and make sure he stays alive. Abyssal should be prepared on the troll. It is. He's got a blink queued up on Paparazzi, too. So buybacks are fantastic for VG. Yeah, they. They only have one down, so yeah, let's go name, for it. Name of the game, Kill Miracle. Uh-huh. Liquid, that sounds like a good keep game. Miracle alive. <laughs> sure. Let's do that by look, hiding under our tier 4 towers. I, I, I want us to put the camera there. It's just, you can look <laughs> at the positioning. Go. Under the tier 4s. <laughs> hey, do we have to move out? Let's do a perimeter check. <laughs> like, just how many of these spot crates? These are techies! If you like this, you like techies. It's, I like this, Kyle. <laughs> it's it's like a good hero version of techies, Toby. Oh. And no, it takes a long oh. time to come online. This doesn't mean that you're going to oh. increase your MMR. Just refresh your Doom Here. available in 30 seconds. Here comes VG. Lincoln Sphere, hello. That's one way yep. to keep Miracle alive. Just any kind of protection. Yep. However many layers you can put on. In this case, if you do use multiple layers, it is safer for you. Yeah, Tom, I love Liquid. They're always just ensuring Tom's go Onto the proper heroes. Phoenix wants his 25 ASAP. What's Miracle doing? He's building your scepter. He actually uh, lined up your scepter? Yep. And, and keep in mind, we, with the Ags, you get two more hits possible on the egg, which ha he did take the increased duration talent. If GH can get these eggs off, really just the one. He had the refresher shard earlier. Uh huh. Almost to his dismay. <laughs> if he had just <laughs> chilled on the high ground casting Sunray, perhaps that fight goes liquid. The Miracle but... Clone's gonna find the two heroes on the side, and he wants to try and do as much damage into Paparazzi as possible. Yang, Orb Storm's out, Fade's gonna be there, Auric as well. Remember, this is just the clone, but you see how much of a threat it is. The Tempest double is up in 12 seconds again. It, and just... you've still gotta go through the Spark Race. You still need to get up the high ground, Toby. Yep. And I'm not going to say it's easy. Look at him. I think they're waiting for the like, four TPs down to the shrine on bottom. It's like, all right, guys, let's go yeah. for the runes. We'll switch our approach. But the spark rates, you can set them up so quickly that even if you switch the lanes, it doesn't even I'm feel just, like you get around them. I'm trying to get a feel for, like, what what's Vici need? They, they're they maxed out on all three of their cores. They're holding out for a you, miracle. You could ags synth, but you already have two ags up on two cores, so at least you get the extra item slot, but, you know, if you weren't willing to go high ground before, what what do you get? Is it a ru double rune spawn? Do you need a DD and an arcane? Bloodthorn or miracle? Okay, he really just couldn't make up his mind of what he wanted now. What's he, means he sell? Can, uh, he doesn't, he just switches the BTs in and out. Like, that's it. Like, maybe the Shadow Blade, because he didn't really feel like he needed a Silver Edge yet yeah. either. So yeah, there it is, the BTs in the backpack, and now he's just like, he's just a frontline tank, but he'll need to shift the, the BTs in when he wants to split push out. Okay. Easy enough, he can manage that. I will say, if Ichi managed to win this game, it'll be, I think, <laughs> the most impressive thing I've seen all tournament. If, you if, consider... if Liquid managed to win this game as well, considering what they have gone through. Like, VG still have so much to fight with, they just never get the fight they want. Yeah. I... They're probably as confused as we are. It reminds <laughs> uh, me of that, uh, uh, that what was it, like, SFZ Cloud9 game Owen casted for like three and a half hours, where there's just a sniper with Rapier in the base. This yep. feels almost more annoying to try and push into. You, Hey, I, I wanted to see you on the front side. So, Kyle, please analyze this. <laughs> as as the, the status quo remains the same for a very long time. The, the thing is, it's, you know, people respond to incentives, Toby. Why would Liquid ever leave the base until they get an advantage? They don't need you know, it. They need vision to win the game. Both sides. It, it's all about the jump. If you can get a Doom off on Miracle, you can find a way to blow him up. Just drop all your spells on top of the Arc Warden. That's how you're going to win the fight, but... He's it's not like, going to let that happen. It's not even how you win the game. Like, okay, so you need to push while the buyback's down. Short, two and a half minutes. But I, Liquid have many different counter push ways from a very long distance. Yeah, so how you can't yeah. go up. But the, the thing is, this game, it, it's tedious. Very tedious. 
but at a point, there's going to be a fight, and in uh -huh. two to three seconds, the winner of this game is going to be decided. Or at least the fight. We'll okay. probably have a let's, whole let's, round of let's, buybacks. Let's, let's give it three to four minutes of a fight, because you do have, like, ten buybacks that will be committed during that big engagement. And then it's all about who diebacks. Like that's that's how you lose control yeah. of this of this and game. It just, Le Lena, I mean, he got the synth upgrade, so now Ori was able to sell the eggs for Octarine. Has a Lincoln's as bots too, but you know, what's next? What? <laughs> yeah. What more do you really need? Moonshard on the troll, like Vici, they're they're slotted. Yeah, yeah, they have extra items. Items consumed. It doesn't get much better for you, them. You know, you know what we actually need? We need a wave of flying couriers with Dagons on them again. Like, we need to put some level of efficiency into, into that. Bring it back. It was and, great. You know, Wii's game wasn't ideal. And oh, what? Okay. I was like, all right, Wii's got the GPM talent. But he actually went Dream Coil Rapid Fire, and he's got a Daedalus queued up. Woo. Hello. So he can blink in, so coil. Now, now they should get some damage out. Yeah, a lot of damage out. And you think about how much spread damage they already have. If the egg's able to go off, if you, you can just phase shift in the center of your coil and, and crit everyone for the eight seconds that the coil's holding you in place, even through BKB. We got Roshan in 56 seconds. And this one will have eggs and refresher all available inside Who does of it? You Who does it you, help? You, you don't give it to Yang, you give it to Doom. Rubik. Rubik is actually the, the best scenario you've got. Or the Rock, you can get double golems down. If he's got if he's got space, in the, he's got space in the inventory, he's still holding the cheese. He has an Ags. The, okay, like, it, the, the Ags has to go to Fade. He's the only one that doesn't have one yet. <laughs> Doom and Lina have both synthed already. Uh-huh. I don't, like, Troll, I guess, could hey, get one, but... You know what I like? Eh? It's like how all these, all these different things have actually been added to Dota to allow us to have faster games. But there's also things being added to Dota to allow people to eight slot. Like, yeah, hey, <laughs> so hey, we, these say, late games smoked. get crazy. So yeah, Liquid are coming out. The Arc Warden's not under the smoke. He's got a he's got a clone pushing down the bottom lane. So again, split push pressure, but Liquid, they're here to check Roshan. He's not they up yet. Elgato is currently the most valuable thing for VG Gaming, watching Roshan. There's your BKB. Oh, got oh, the, doom the jump forward, and with the Doom bag, it means Icarus dive completes the whole thing. He actually goes for the refresher, blink. so he can blink forward and finish off the Phoenix. Buyback is available. That is but that both is... BKBs on Yang, though, and now Miracle's Claw's gonna walk right up into it. Oh, man. It's just the clone. Yang, he's burned the BKB. Kuro protected by the Lincoln Sphere. Miracle, trying to let the clone go to work. He's looking for any kind of pickoff he can. Already triggered off that Aeon disc. Paparazzi, he found Kuro into the back lines, but then four staffs. They're up from Liquid, looking for the extra kite. Kuro, he needs the distance, and he's got the bubble boy. He'll be okay. The bottle money is still pushing in. Watch that Tempest clone force VG into a position where they have to guess. Like, do we... I should have, they're already TPing. Oh, he has to go down yeah. there. Roshan's up, the 60-minute bounty runes are up, Yang's got the ones on the bottom. Yep. I think DY will take the ones up on top, but Paparazzi, how quick can you do Roshan? The clone's on bottom, it's pushing the tier 3 tower. VG have a choice. They're going for Roshan at the moment, they'll commit to it, Paparazzi has to. But Smoke from Team Liquid, they come out once more, Roshan's already done. The tier 3 tower on bot is practically dead. What, who gets the items? But they know, they know Ori is down. So Yang's here on the front lines. Weeha, he just face shifts, blinks away. The Shiva Scout won't catch anyone. Yang, he's trying to catch up to Weeha. Lincoln's, Lincoln's feet is protecting Weeha. Goes for the Infernal Blade. Lincoln's will now time out. And now it's time to build the Wall of Ghouls. Liquid. I'll send another coin down towards bottom lane and just cause Ari problems. It, the gold <laughs> lead is absurd, actually. 42,000 gold, by far the largest we've seen in this game. But it, it's less relevant because there's simply nothing that these Vici heroes can spend it on. Mm -hmm. Miracle really just doesn't care about Ari. <laughs> Ari can BT back in again, so he's got no issues with this uh, at all. I'm uh, just going to read out some of the gold numbers real fast. Okay, uh, Ori, uh, 10,000. Uh -huh. Yang, 10,000. Uh -huh. Fade, 8,000. Uh -huh. Paparazzi, 7,000. So uh -huh. really, this gold leads more like 6 or 7k. Obviously, they'll have buybacks galore. You know what? This reminds me of like, uh, she's like, whose Dota is it anyway? Welcome to the show where the, go the gold doesn't matter. Hey, hey. Maybe it does, Vici. They're knocking on the door now. They've got vision yep. up on their own. But they won't be ready for this Puck Ultimate. The Daedalus is done. 
So if they get caught out from this, Paparazzi is the first one forward. It's only the coins. Mind Control gets the hoof stomp. They want that extra time to attack. Even with the Phantom's Embrace, they slow him down. They just want to break him. But then Paparazzi, he'll burn off the Titanic. Mind Control, stampede away. These BKBs have been burned. So even if Paparazzi does have the Aegis, he's got to be careful. They can kill him twice over. But the Spark Race keep doing their work. They've run out of the Creep Wave. The mid lane's not there either. There's only so long they can do this. Fortifications available from Liquid. They'll that burn it. Now. They need to clean up the second wave that's coming in right now. Miracle sends the clone in. Paparazzi still low on life, but Satanic, eight seconds and it's back up again. But there goes your Creep Wave. How many clones must die for the service of Team Liquid? Paparazzi runs forward. He's getting hit by the Fire Spirits. Doesn't really slow down his attack that much. They still want to beat through up at the tower. Yeah, he miracle. got the initiation. He got the real one. The Lickers came way too late. A four star back. They have to get him into Fountain. Miracle. He has to buy back. No other choice. VG Gaming are in their home and oh. must be repelled. DY saves both of his golems over towards Miracle. In fact, all three of them are trying to keep him zoned down. But Kuro, he gets the soul bind together. Egg. This will break the Aegis of the Immortal. Where it is the Nova? It, it actually got too. off with a sun down. Doom can't go anywhere. Ari is trapped as well. Mind control, keeping the chain control there. Miracle is coming up. Miracle actually survives. Even with the three golems there, they don't care. Mass fire is coming no, from VG dead. Gaming. The They're drone. all buying back. They want to keep the pressure going. There's no Miracle to fight this one out. He's just got the clone only. Mind control on a bee stick of life. VG Gaming. They want to force the issue, but it seems so damn bloody hard. Miracle has not to kill. Even in death, he fights it out. Ori wants to get back out again. We have the Ori will connect. He'll have to buy back. He didn't join himself forward on this one. Mind Control needs the attack, needs the opportunity. DY oh, has an ultra kill with the unstoppable. This is like the burning crusade. Mind Control, where is your attack? Where is your stun? The your super sends him back up again. Mind Control's now the one being attacked back at the base. But VG Gaming, they committed every single buyback they've got, and there's no one else to come back. It's literally Warlock versus the world. And he may go down. Here comes Koro, but he doesn't see him. He actually hits the stun, though, inside the trees. The Glimmer Cape will wear off in a second. GH, he's got to check the trees. He's got to look for DY. Mid lane's being pressured in the meantime as well. They're attacking the tier three we towers. The base. Now, DY trapped down. There There's are no, no one there from VG Gaming. They are all going to be dead if DY will finally bloody die. Weeha's going for the throne. He's TPing back. Weeha, what's Puck got? He picked up a Desolator. He's going for the Dream Call. He just what? wants to hit DY inside the fountain. He gets the kill. They're all down for the count. Liquid, no they're going to try and end this one. Fire back, anything you've got. Get to the front lines. The Tier 4 Towers. It's a rock sale. They all must go. It was one attack, Toby. The Lina attack was mid-air. It would have killed Phoenix and Puck with no buyback. Instead, they're still GG. alive. And they win the game. Team Liquid fight back and give us a decider. The last major for this TPC season. And we're going to try and end it in style. Two amazing teams. Fantastic strategies from both sides, but only one can win that game. And it could have been either way. Oh my god, it's a... <laughs> you can hear the crowd, man. They've been here all damn day. They've been waiting for something like this. Even with VP out, you're hearing chants going for both sides. Fiji and Liquid. Everyone's here to see some fantastic Dota. And everyone's got what they came for. And this, this is what I love about Team Liquid. I don't care how big your lead is. I don't care if they have to sit in base for 30 minutes waiting and watching. You need to beat them. They are not going to make those huge game throws. They're not going to make some game-changing mistake. They recognize what their win condition is. Uh -huh. They Miracle ball back. They sat in base until it was back online.